grab your snacks, popcorns, beverages, anything that's going to make this whole experience a joy. But we are back with SB19 documentary. This is number three, The Wave. Ooh. Definitely curious about what this one's about. Huge shout out to our guy, Casual Chuck. Thank you so much for these wonderful documentaries. I'm super duper 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 excited. So if you are new, crystallize that like button, subscribe to the channel, and thank you again for this wonderful, wonderful request. But let's get right into it. Guys, here we go. Would you believe me if I said that SB19 would be successful if I met them three years ago? You'd probably think I'm cheating because I'm talking from the present, and your past self would never believe me because I might have only seen them as a trying hard boy group who had to wear the same clothes over and over and over and over again because they couldn't afford a nice variety. But what if despite all this, they already knew what's gonna happen? Ito mga to, sigurado ako in the future, magiging successful kami. They knew their Speaking destiny. Speaking faith. Pablo's username reads, I'm Seasmite. A random fan asked, why? He answered, it also means seismic, like Earth's vibrations. It's something big and important. So when I seize the mic, I create this impact, like an earthquake. Wow, that was and creative. And when an earthquake happens, you know what's next after that. Oh, Are yeah. Are you sure you don't know? Do you actually want me to spell it out to you? Aftershock. Okay, let me show you. Hey, let's go. Love it. Beautiful intro check. Yeah, that's Pablo. If you're new here, you're probably wondering how he ended up there. Pablo. This is called Triple. I remember this one from the first video. Get in the zone. Finally, they were starting to go up. They were very young. This was the time when they were still trying to figure out their musical identity. Enter the Get In The Zone album. Just check out the level of variety. It was definitely a mix of everything. The Bashers immediately saw this as a weakness. They were seen as a group who didn't know what they were doing. Despite all the hate, 18 didn't get affected as they started to get to know the boys on a deeper level. We got to know their fun side. Sige naman po, nung na-meet ko to dati sa cover group, parang sabi ko, feeling ko mayabang to, parang ganun po, mayabang to. Tapos, oh, tumbling-tumbling ka pa dyan, ganun. Tumbling-tumbling pa to. Uy, this mental stay. Parang lagi siyang may sariling mundo, hindi po siya bilong sa amin. Tinanong siya ng teacher namin, sa tingin mo, sino pinakamagaling sa mayabang? Ako! Sabi niya po. Ay, ako. Me! Ako po. Sinabi ko po talaga. Ay, kung confident ka naman, bakit hindi, di ba? Ang galing ko po talaga. Siguro mayabang to. Si Justin naman po, nung una ko po siyang nakita, sabi ko, ah, typical guy, parang gano'n. Sorry! Si Justin po, parang pure, parang inosente. Pero, nung nakala, nalaman ko, hindi po pala. Oh my gosh! Si Stel, sobrang friendly po. Siya po yung happy feel namin. Hindi ko alam na siya pala yung main vocal po. Kasi akala ko magaling na talaga siya sumayaw. First impression ko po kay Josh, mabait po siya na may mayabang po na dati. Ayaw. Tinatry niya lang maging maangas, pero deep inside, hindi talaga. Softy pala, softy. Aww. Aww. 
Akala ko po, hindi siya yung leader. Nung no, no, una, ang weird niya po, nagsasalita mag-isa, parang big, bigla na lang siya nagagano. <laughs> he was, <laughs> he's he's was so po, weird. Nung, nakatayo siya sa gilid, tapos may training kami siya, biglang gagano. Tapos biglang gagano siya. Gagano po siya sa gilid. Sabi ko, anong ginagawa na? Nagre-ritual ba ito sa gilid? We also got to know their internal battles. Thank you to all of our families, to, especially to our parents, and sa mama ko, sa kapatid ko. I'm so glad they did break up. Uh, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. I think we take the the term literal when we hear journey. A journey is not always easy. A journey is not always pleasant. So at this moment in SB19, where they're really reaching out to their fans and especially their parents, they're letting them know, like, thank you for supporting and bearing with us, you know, being separate or traveling for these four long years but a journey is not always easy it's it's not I mean we take it too lightly we really do and I can feel the pain and the sincerity when they speak about or have this discussion and it's very heartfelt <laughs> We love you too, Stel. Tatang Robin. <laughs> He's amazing. Yes. And just like that. SB19 got us into their zone. Back, Back to, to the, the album. album. As unique as each of the songs was, all seven of them managed to reach the number one spot of Billboard's Lyric Fine Global chart. It's still insane thinking about it today. And they weren't no. done. They also appeared in Billboard's top social 50, peaking at number nice. three. Or so they thought. And aside from that, ito nagbabasa rin ako ng mga comments naman sa ating comment section. Kasi di ba yung last na pinost ninyo is number 3 kayo sa Billboard Social 50. Pero ngayon, number 2 na kayo, guys! Oh, what? At Billboard Social 50, <laughs> like, may mga comment dito. And number 6 na kayo. Number 7, di ba, nung last na yung pinost. Number 6 wow. na. Bridging Artist, congratulations! Thank you, Pablo. Oh, di ba? They couldn't believe it. Stel ended up forgetting that he was in a live interview because he had to check it himself. Yep, it's real. He said number two. September 1st, 2020, a well-known artist canceled an Instagram live interview with MTV scheduled for the next day. So MTV host Kevin Kinney invited SB19 on a short nice. notice to fill in. An opportunity not, oh, yeah. they answer. Oh my god. Who wants to go first? Uh, uh, for me, I would like to collaborate with Mr. Bruno Mars. Two weeks later, Kevin made a bold prediction. We ask a lot of people for interviews. A lot of people that you want us to interview, we take it very seriously when we reach out. Some people, you'd be amazed, don't have the time of day, can't find the time, can't do it. Oh, you know, that's tough. Okay, no harm, no foul. Then there's the people. Name the time. That are like, 
name the time, name exactly. the place with it. SB19 did that at 9 p.m. They'd never done an Instagram Live before. They didn't know if they could be together. They made it a point to not only be together, but be together at 9 p.m. because they knew that was the only time that it worked for this US-based host. That type of work ethic is gonna take them very Absolutely. far in the music industry. I'm also very good at predicting music, okay? Right? I'm like the MTV push of, of hosts. The same way that MTV knows how to pick winners, I know how to pick winners. I said on this very after show, SB19 are going to be big stars. I said it on my IG Live. I've said it to you in private, Caitlin. Absolutely. I've said it to Banjo. You know, he didn't say anything back. SB19 are going to be big stars. They have. Hardworking. They're, they're hardworking. Today's date is September 18th, 2020, when I'm saying this, okay? I want somebody to post this on September 18th, 2021, and you can see how right I am because of how much larger and more well-known SB19 will be yes. here from this date right here. And when 2021 started, he reminded people about what's to come. Four years into my career, I've seen some people come and go, and I've seen some journeys, and you can spot things, right? You can notice trends, you can notice similarities. SB19 right now, and the lock that 18 has on the voting, week in and week out, and seeing them rise up the social 50 chart over at Billboard. Wow. It's very akin, it's very similar to what was going on with BTS 2017, 2018. Now I hope SB19 can reach those heights. I'm rooting for them. Those guys are awesome guys and hard working guys. I've interviewed them after like incredibly 10 Oof. hour plus work days of rehearsal. That's a lot of practice. hours. They still put a smile on their face and they're incredibly hard working. I think that's really the, aside from the music being good, it's the work ethic that's gonna take you to the top. So my prediction is they're going to break out in a huge way this year. So take that for what it's worth. 18, 18. SB19. Kevin's prediction Ooh. came true. A T S B 19. Congratulations. This song was on the next level. Nice. It showcased Pablo's songwriting skills. <laughs> Ken's dance moves and unique sound. <laughs> Stills heavenly voice and choreography. Wow. The most nice. iconic rap verse in all of P-pop by Josh. <laughs> and Justin's brilliant mind, which created a spectacle no one has ever seen in the country. What? It became the fastest P-pop music video to reach 1 million views in just 16 hours. Wow. SB19 sent shockwaves that reminded people of what they are capable of. The world got inspired, so it responded with a giant wave of appreciation. I think doon doon mo rin naman makikita na hindi mo pwedeng hindi mo pwedeng pulaan ng isang tao na nag-prepare na nag-prepare na nag-prepare hanggang sa makakita siya ng opportunity para gamitin yung preparation na yun. Walang pinagkaiba yan kay Manny Pacquiao eh, na nag-train na nag-train na nag-train na nag-train sobrang galing wow. pagpasok niya ng ring knockout yung kalaban. Walang difference. Eh. Lalo ko na-appreciate ang isang artist na alam kong pwedeng magyabang pero hindi nagyayabang. This was also the time when I found them. Their music made a difference in my life. It gave people happiness. Amazing. Their music inspired us to become a better version of ourselves despite our imperfections. SB19 taught us not to only raise our own flag, but to wave it proudly. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I I get ghost. I'm sorry, Pinuno, but you gotta hang in there till the next episode, okay? <laughs> we see <laughs> Huge shout, shout out to Casual Chuck. You are so amazing. I love him for these videos.
So what's number four? Is he gonna show us? Absolutely. Okay, so we gotta find out what's number four. But I am so excited, casual truck. Casual Chuck, SB19, we love you deeply. I mean, it's very, very inspiring and heart-touching. I'll never forget this experience. I sincerely won't. But definitely hang tight if you guys didn't get to finish your snacks. Go ahead and wrap it up. Save it up for the next video. I want to thank you guys for joining me. And until the next video, just always remember that where your heart lies, so does your treasure. So keep it pure. I love you guys. Good night.